Assalamu alaikum. I am Muzaffar Saleh. Welcome to my channel. Today we will have intro to steam turbine power plant. A steam turbine power plant works on red kind cycle. By the way, do you know I am second channel? Link is given in the description. I hope you would like it. Let's get start today's video with schematic diagram of the steam power plant. Steam generator. This is feed pump. And this is the condenser. Steam turbine. And the electric generator. Now let's check the functions of the each component. After point 1, the component is feed pump. Feed pump sends the water to the steam generator where it is converted into dry steam. This dry steam's energy used to turn the turbine blades, which are connected to shock. So shaft moves and generator is able to produce electricity. After turning the turbine's blade, the enthalpy of the steam is decreased and some amount of it is changed into hot water. So the whole wet steam passes through the condenser and change its phase from wet steam to the liquid. The liquid again goes to steam generator through feed pump and the cycle goes on. Keep a point in your mind that the steam generator is not just a boiler. Rather, Boiler plus superheater makes a steam generator. Actually, boiler is responsible for the conversion of water into steam. But this steam is not 100% dry. After that, it's superheater's job to make it dry by providing it more heat. Usually, there are four main circuits in steam power plant. Number 1. Feed water and steam flow circuit. Number 2. Coal and ash circuit. Number 3 Air and Gas Circuit Number 4 Cooling Water Circuit The lines you are seeing in this figure is feed water and steam flow circuit. Coal and ash and air and gas circuits are connected to the furnace which is the source of heat energy to the steam generator. And the last circuit is water cooling circuit. It is connected to the condenser. The cold water supply may have different sources according to the number of the power plant. One option is to get fresh water from river, lake or pond. Otherwise, water cooling tower is used. Now let's discuss the property diagram of it. We know steam power plant works on Rankine cycle. So TS diagram of the Rankine cycle is its property diagram. Before we discuss about TS diagram, let me tell you something about this dome. Actually, this dome shows the thermodynamics properties of the water. The shape of the dome is different for different working fluids. This line is saturated liquid line and this region is saturated liquid region, means only liquid region. This line is saturated steam line and this region is saturated steam region, means only steam, dry steam have this region. The highest point of the dome or the point where the saturated liquid and saturated steam lines meet each other is critical point. Beyond this point, we cannot distinguish between the liquid and vapor phases. The region under the dome is wet region. Here both the phases simultaneously exist that is water and steam. In TS diagram, this line shows the constant temperature and this line shows the constant entropy. And this line shows the constant pressure. You can see the pressure line in the wet region is straight. Now let's have a look on the processes. In 1 to 2, the working fluid is pumped from low to high pressure. As the fluid is liquid at this stage, the pump requires little input energy. 
in process 2 to 3 the high pressure liquid enters the steam generator where it is heated at constant pressure by an external heat source to become a dry saturated vapor process 3 to 4 the dry saturated vapor expands through a turbine and generating power this decreases the temperature and pressure of the vapor and some condensation may occur process 4 to 1 the wet vapor then enters a condenser where it is condensed at high constant pressure to become a saturated liquid. Moreover, the process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression and process 2 to 3 is constant pressure heating. Process 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion. Process 4 to 1 is constant pressure condensation. Now it's time to write down the formulas for each component and process. First is pump. So its work input is equal to the enthalpy at point 2 minus enthalpy at point 1. Heat supplied by the boiler is equal to the enthalpy at point 3 minus enthalpy at point 2. Work output of the turbine is equal to the enthalpy at point 3 minus enthalpy at point 4. Heat rejected at condenser is equal to the enthalpy at point 4 minus enthalpy at point 1. It is very important to note that H is equal to CPT is only valid in the case of the ideal gas or for air. So H can be written CPT in case of gas turbine but not in the case of steam turbine. So the thermal efficiency is equal to the net heat supplied or net work output divided by the heat supplied. Up till now we have discussed the Rankine cycle which is an ideal cycle. In real, in any process, entropy can't be constant. Actually it increases. As we have little bit difference in isentropic process and real process, so here is the isentropic efficiency for pump and turbines formula. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe it. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.